Hello and welcome back to Gwen Games Plays Mass Effect. Last time we got done with Novaria, we confronted uh, Matriarch Benezia, who turns out was being mind controlled by Saren and died in our struggle. And we also let the Rachni Queen go free. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the I Citadel. I knew this was here. Top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. Um, thankfully I saved right before that message. I, uh, like I said, I looked Commander through Shepard, the galaxies to see received information that what we're gonna do today, to mission against but Saren. let's listen to this first. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Okay. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. They want to not have to take credit for me doing something stupid and bad. Which makes sense. Okay, so, like I said, look through the galaxy map for things to do. Um, and it turns out there is a new cluster that showed up. Let's zoom out from Novaria real quick. Uh, up here. The Styx Theta, in which there are two new places to go. So that's where we're going to be going today. We'll start with Archon. Archer Run. The other thing to talk about is Vermeer is um, the mission immediately preceding the final mission, um, and I think it shows up after you finish any two of the three leads that they gave us, being Liara, Novaria, and Pharos. But we're going to go to Pharos first because, again, we're doing a completionist run. We're going to go do everything we can. Uh, light metal, very good. I didn't pay attention to what we got from the asteroid. Okay, so that's it, and let's go to the planet. I'll see you guys there. I don't know what's in store for us here. Alright, just from this quick view, you can see that this planet is made up of big open spots and then really sharp peaks, which pretty much means just don't Interesting, there's red dots. Don't go over the peaks, go around them. Uh, what enemies are there? I don't see any turrets. Oh, it's Rachni! Interesting. These must be uncontrolled ones? Because the Queen said she wasn't going to do this shit. I'm, I'm sure the building will tell us something about why these Rachni are here and aggressive because after this we should be totally on decent terms with the Rachni or they should be extinct drive you over um it's a pity that those are basically the two options you have from the end of this game is either they're friendly or they're extinct because it means they are not available as enemies in the, the second and third game. Die. Alright, that's all the ones on the outside. I'm sure there will be more on the inside. Let's go find out. These kind of look like they're... No, they're meant. Just nests. Alright, where's the door? There it is. In we go. Yeah, it's... The second game still has a decent variety of enemies to fight. The third game... It 
just for whatever reason, is streamlined to three enemy types. And we'll get to that when we get to the third game. I don't want to spoil too much, but it is a little bit of a shame that there are three families of enemies in the third game, and that's it. Oh boy. I'm just trying to stay to that guy back there. And send us guys flying so they can't get to me. Okay, that's all the red dots I see on the screen. Are there any boxes for goodies for me? Rewards for my valiant uh, combat? I'm full of shit here. I just, I just want the goodies. Give me the goodies. But, shredder rounds. We, we seem to be getting a lot of those as upgrades. Okay, the Exclamation point is to the right, so naturally we go to the left first. We haven't been able to look at any of the bodies. Those are weird. I'm gonna, I bet those pop and let little little guys out. Let's, let's get rid of them. I don't want to deal with them. Alright, uh, it looks like there's just uh, boxes in here. Um, I'm not going to subject you to me uh, de decrypting all of them. Righto, so let's see what's behind door number two. More of these little pods, which I'm also going to preemptively pop. I think that's the wise thing to do. I bet there were more in the main room that I just didn't notice. Let's see what this is. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Okay. So, they Command, tried to send out a mayday. They just received a supply run two days ago. The Rachni worked fast. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. Checking. This base is supplied by drone freighters, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Which wherever it is, there's probably more retina there. And finish. Let's get to the bottom of this. So very well, Shepard. This is a chain uh, quest. Nice. The Rachni infestation at at Altahe, Altahe, Altahe. Sure, I'll tell you. Uh, seems to be the result of a supply drop from Argos Rojo. The logs downloaded from the freighter should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. Okay, so uh, I suppose maybe that'll be the second half of this episode, is we'll go back to Argos Rojo. I was planning on doing both the locations in this cluster. You know what, I might still do that just to limit loading time and all that. Um, I'm sure the other quest will wait for us. I think that's all that's in the space. I will see you at the end of planet report because the map of this planet is pretty empty. I'm not sure we'll find much more. I was not expecting more Rachni. I've been paranoidly saving between before I go into every single one of these. Ooh, that's a big Rachni. Um, it's got biotic powers. I don't remember this at all. Come on, there we go. Ooh, gained a lot of experience too. Um, I've been saving before every one of these because it just looks like Thresher Maw territory, man. Um, but no Thresher Maws have popped up, but this has, which is kind of neat. Boom. Okay, that piles down. No need to do this other than just for experience and for completeness. Um, I will show where this is on the map because it is unmarked. Okay, it looks like one more mound. Both of my front tires have taken damage. See if we can 
represent a different target. I'm having a hard time hitting this thing. There we go. And obliterated. Okay, drive towards the middle of it. Map. We are right there. And I'm almost done scanning this planet. Um, so I'll do the end of action report in just a moment. Okay, so nothing has changed. Uh, there were two more points of interest. This one is really close to the listing post, so you probably found that one on your own. There's an ex just an escape pod with loot over here if you want to come all the way over here, and then to mineral locations. I will see you at the galaxy map in just a moment. All right, so here we are in the Erebus system, which is the other one in the Styx Theta. Okay, Nemphos is the planet we're going to land on. Got a survey. I'm hoping to get my last, oh, there's heavy metal, um, of the um, Prothean data, data disks. That's the last of the discovery quests that I need to finish. But we're still one choice. There it is. So that's that done. Um, so all my heavy metals, all my matriarch writings, all my Solarian tags, all that done. But let's go see what Nemphos has for us. So I noticed on the map, all it says down here is debris. But that over there is distinctly a mine entrance. So we'll go see what that is. It's totally unmarked, which is really surprising, and looks like I can't get in the door. I bet we're coming back here um, once we go to the listening post, so hopefully that's the next thing I show you. Alright, so it looks like... Oh. oh, there's people alive here. Damn. This is unusual. I think I remember this encounter. Get to help defend them. From the back man. That one. That one. And then we we'll kill enough and a big one will come out, I think. Man, how much I would appreciate being there fighting, you know attacking Arachni and a tank randomly shows up to blow them all up. That would be the best. Okay. Those turrets aren't working. I wonder if we can power them up with anything? Let's see. Go talk to the Marines or we can try to go turn on... I don't need the Medigel. Can we turn on the generator? It looks like we can. Dear, the generator has been ripped apart by Rachni Claws, leaving the defensive turrets inoperative. It'd be possible to power the turrets off the Mako's engine, but it would make it impossible to drive or fire the Mako's own weapons. Sure, we'll do it. So the Mako is now stationary, and we have to hold it off, or we have to survive for 20 seconds. It would appear. Wonder if anything's going to happen, or is that? I wish you were a tank brigade. No offense. I kind of am a tank brigade. First Lieutenant Duran, sir. Third Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad to see you. Happy to help. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than lichen. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them, you take us out too. Okay. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. 
I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... We don't have time to explain. Are you secure here? What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. You heard the man. So Everybody is going to be pool, magazines, and three seconds Take until enemies start attacking? Is that what's going smoke, on? It's as good a time as any. Yes. Okay. Took two shots. Didn't die. I'm looking to use stasis on something, but they're actually too far away and are dying fast enough. Not a terrible thing to have as a problem, I suppose. I'm not sure how much longer this goes on. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing on trying to kill things, but... Okay, looks like another minute. Perimeter oh, secure. we just get to hold off another wave. Okay, is it really going to make us sit here a whole minute? Not much time left, Commander. Yes, it is. I'm going to go grab that thing that was in this house while, I'm, while I have time to wait. Don't need the medical. Do want the... The upgrade kit. Go, go, go! Five. Uh, well, okay, my count was totally off because I was starting my timer so I don't know how long the episode is, or at least vaguely. Am I getting experience for all these? I don't think I am. Do it again. I'm not sure if the other people can shoot through my stasis. It might be only me who can shoot through my stasis. And I don't know whether I can shoot through Liara's cases yet. I haven't tested it out yet. Okay, I think that one just died, so we're gonna do it over there instead. Man, this is a lot of enemies. It really... Well, I suppose it wants you to have a hard time in the Mako or with the turrets what this is designed to be doing. Okay, 
We got them all, Shepard. Sadie. Holy hell, sir. I don't Talk think about we lost anybody. Thing. You all right? Yeah. Never mind me. Are you all right? Still on my feet. But we've been fighting for almost 26 hours straight. None of us will be standing for long. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right. That must be it. That must the be what? where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. And that's you don't have probably to do that, the mine. Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off world. No. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks. That's what we do, baby. Can I have my Mako back? Maybe? Or where does it want us to go? It wants us to go to the Rachni infested mine, which is where that mine was, exactly like I said. But I need to be able to get into the car. I'm here if you need me. I'm sure it's on a cooldown of some sort. Or maybe I have to turn the generator off. Yeah. Had to turn the, the uh, generator off. Cool beans. I'm going to finish scanning the planet and then we're going to go do uh, the mine. Ooh, here's something else. Discovery. It appears the particle bores were shut down after breaking through into tunnels just below the surface. The shacks and equipment are stenciled with the logo of the Tenkara Mining Consortium. There is no trace of the mining crew, and those point. look like rachnite holes. Let's see if there's anything in the buildings to tell us what happened there. This is not the the mine uh, location, by the way, that uh, the soldier just told us to go to. This is the anomaly location on the map. Combat exoskeleton. I forget if that's a good one or not. Okay, so I think that's it. So basically. There were some miners. They uh, and they broke into the tunnels. So the rat and I probably went in through there or something. I don't know. I will see you at the the mine now. And here we are. I should also we're gonna do an end of planet report before we're actually done with the planet because we've scanned the whole thing at this point. Uh, crash probe. That's just got loot. This is where we come after we help at the listening outpost. Three mineral deposits. This is the mining camp that I was just at. And then this is, um, I think I had a league of one medallion in it. So that's your end of planet report. Let's go take on some infested rachni that came from a drone that seems to be coming, uh, dropping from an alliance drone. These must not be under the control of the Rachni Queen that we just left, because she made us a deal. And she's totally breaking it. I did not mean to switch that. I've been playing too much Fallout, and I just tried to hit vats. <laughs> to see if there was any enemies. Silly, silly me. Okay, let's delve deeper down. I'm sure we're going to get all the way in there before we have to fight anything. Lorachni, we wish to kill you all. Hostile spotted. Oh, right next to me. That is perfect. So, uh, I don't remember who said it on Novarian, but apparently they are weak bionics. Well, it was dead before my stasis even really took effect. Apparently that one should fall, unfortunately. I'm I'm taking poison damage. All, My shields are full, but I'm still taking damage. Oh, Fine, here we go. Okay. It's time to you to get some health. Don't do that often, but I also usually use barriers as my main 
regenerating health source. And that's not going to work because of the toxicity damage that I'm taking. Is this where I came in? I'm we getting a little shit. turnaround. You really think we got them all? No, we did not. Don't be silly. Nope, I want Stacy. Throw down! One behind me. Okay. I feel like I might even get all the way in and all the way out, and there's so many of these little pods I can't see that I might not get all the enemies. I'm sure it'll give us a checkpoint of some sort. Okay. I just broke my rule of not going towards the X first. Bad me. Okay, I'm going to stasis that one. Come on. I, I think I'm shooting my teammates in the back. Or is that really an extra big one? Oh, it's an extra big one. Garrus is down. He'll be back up in a second. Negative contact. Good job, Garrus. Can you get your shield back in any way? Uh, yes. I should have used that cryo thing that's to the left of me right now. On it, I'm sure. Ooh, new light armor. I will have to check that out. All right, let's go check out the other room. No, actually. Is there anything on the X? What is it? Rachni spawning pit. Okay, I'm sure there's another one. Otherwise, there would have been dialogue about how uh, we got him good and no, nothing ain't coming back. Yeah, here's the other one. Garrus and Liara at full health. I'm sure, it's gonna be another big one. Let's. Knock them silly a little bit. I haven't used much grenades, I need to use more. My teammates aren't shooting at it. Alright, the records of the Rachni War suggest brood warriors, the male gendered Rachni, only fight when a hive is severely pressed. It's safe to say you've eliminated the Rachni on Nephos. Sweet. So that's that done. I'm sure there's going to be more on the way out. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to say goodbye yet. Um, let's check out and see if that armor was any good. Plus, we got to level up. Uh, that armor is better in biotic protection, but not worth the shields and... Uh, there. Wouldn't that be nice, but medium armor can't wear it. Okay. Uh, I can't wear it. Can uh, Liara, or is she wearing something really similar? She's Scorpion 6 and Mantis 6. Okay. Well, no new armor, but we do have a level up. I'm doing Barrier. Garrus is doing Dampening. And Liara's doing Lift. Very good. Oh, what does the journal say? Go to the Gorgon system in Argos Row and locate uh, Depot Sigma 23. Okay. So I guess that's one of the things we'll do next episode. I don't think there are any other new galaxy locations to explore. So maybe the second half of the episode we'll go to the Citadel and talk to the guy who sent me looking for his brother, who I have to tell him his brother's dead. That's going to be a bummer. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.